as a lot of people remarked at the time, it was the only city where you would starve to death before you froze to death. And Vancouver was a place where you could survive. People perceived us to have plenty of jobs here, and that simply wasn't the case. So it was sort of a, a double wave of unemployment. You had locals as well as people who weren't from here. But there was a loss of innocence, a loss of belief that the country was going to take care of them or that hard work was going to see them through. There were hunger marches in this city. Uh, there were mass protests in the streets, police attacks against workers who were out protesting. There was definitely a fear amongst the media, amongst the government, that this body of transient men that was arriving here was going to become heavily politicized. The underclass getting together and fighting for some cause and rioting, but rioting specifically with a real political agenda. And it was sort of the great decade for the underclass political riot. The 1930s was the pivotal moment in, in the history of the working class in this country. And there's some pretty difficult and bloody struggles, but also set the stage for real important gains that uh, improved the lives of millions of people in this country.